It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura on The Brew, streaming video in real time on our YouTube pages. Find us at Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Spor- uh, sports is coming up next. Drew, what do you have? Blazers go hard in the Pac-12 tournament. We'll tell you what's up next. That's coming up right after Dias Straits at 624.
<clears throat> well, we talked uh, the other day about Dak Prescott, the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, who was said he was being extorted by a lady who wanted $100 million. Now, she says uh, that in the back of an SUV seven years ago, uh, that he sexually assaulted her. He said that's not true and that it's a cash squeeze. Well, now that he's sued her back for a million dollars, days later, she walked into a police department and filed a report, which, you know, by law, they have to investigate. So the headline reads, the police are investigating an alleged sexual assault by Dak Prescott. But at that very same moment, the police where he lives are investigating an extortion plot. So it's going to go one way or another. I think the fact that Dak, who has a lot of money, doesn't want to give up $100 million, is willing to come out and speak about this, speaks volumes for what his credibility will look like, um, but it will still come out in the wash. But the, his attorney says, timing seems pretty convenient that you wait all those years and it isn't until somebody wants money back from you that you file the paperwork. Also, yesterday, the Pac-12 tournament continued. It was at T-Mobile Arena, and those first couple rounds are brutal. I mean, if you want to read seat numbers, go ahead and watch the first couple rounds of the Pac-12 tourney because the place is wide open. And the Ducks looked like they were going to cruise to a victory yesterday. Remember, they had to win to keep their hopes of a turn NCAA tournament bid alive. With just a few seconds left, UCLA had the ball down by two when this happened. Andrews, the floater for the tie, falls off. Wow. And Oregon hangs on and gets the win. I'll tell you what, he got a great shot and a great look. Yeah, he got a great look, but it bounced off the back of the iron. The Ducks will now play the Arizona Wildcats this evening. That game is going to be a later night game, but you also got to think they're going to need a miracle to get past number six in the country. Washington State, Colorado, the other game. We'll break them down later. There's your sports. Thank you much. All right, coming up next, we're going to check in with Laura. She's uh, not here today because last night her number got called. She got called for jury duty today, and... It's a murder trial. Oh. Mida was the case. Intense. We'll check in with her right after Stained. Happy Friday. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura on The Brew.
All right, weird shows this week. Drew is out Monday, I was out Wednesday, and now Laura's out Friday. And if you think Laura was out last Friday as yeah. well, and yeah. I think we missed another. I mean, we've, we've been patchworking forever. Today was, uh, was a surprise because last night she had to check in and her number was called. She has been called for jury duty this morning. Not just uh, for any trial, but it, it's for a murder trial. It says it on the letter, this is for a murder trial. On the phone with us right now, the one and only Laura. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, not having you here today uh, is a bummer, but we understand you've got to do your civic duty mm-hmm. and and okay. show up. Now, Some uh, we got a talkback message from somebody. Let me play this real quick because it sounds like he was stuck in jury deliberations or, sorry, jury selection for a long time. Okay. Yeah, I got picked for federal jury duty one time. And I didn't get on the jury, but it was like a week long just for jury selection. And I had to be there every day of that. I got cut on the last freaking day. Oh. I'm glad I didn't have to be on the trial, though. It was, it was, a, it was a bad one. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be anything like that, Laura. Jeez, a whole week? Uh, Laura, she, do, do we lose you? Is she gone already? Uh, Laura, are you there? Hey, can you turn that music down? It's oh, so loud. The, the Perry Mason, <laughs> the Perry Mason Bob. We were really enjoying that. Oh, I man. mean, it was great. It's great music. Really setting the, so set the mood. Me, I can't hear you. Uh, anyway, so yeah, yeah. tell us. Uh, 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 it could be a week long this this jury selection, but I, we doubt it, right? Hopefully, it'll be a over real quick. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping so. I mean, it says you report today, and then if you're chosen, it gives you the dates of what you'll have to do like if you're selected to sit on the jury. So it sounds like it's going to be done today for this portion of it. Because if, if this gives you any peace of mind, when I was in there, in the morning, there's like 100 people in the room or whatever. I, I wasn't head counting, but a lot of people. And by the yeah. time we'd gone to lunch, so half a day, only two groups had been pulled upstairs. But by that time, by the time I swallowed my burger and, <laughs> and returned... They they just were standing in the doorway and told us all to go home. Yeah. So the good news is, if they get those right people in the first couple swings, you're good. Um, but if you're yeah. in those first couple swings, you could be in trouble. Right. And they said oh, that. Oh man. Doesn't it say on the letter that uh, you could be, you know, in this trial involved in this trial up to two weeks? Yeah. So I actually have the dates. I want to say it's like. April 8th through the 19th or something like that. And I would have to be the, uh, there for each of those days. I wonder what trial so, it is. Like we were talking about it earlier. Could it be the one where the guy had the body in the, in the trunk, mm-hmm. you know, where he, he, he the car was impounded. In, was impounded. Right. And there's a body in the trunk. It could be that one. I mean, there's only well, a handful of murders. What, that- whatever it is, whatever it is, it has to be from a while ago because I mean, it takes a while to get to this point. Right. Mm-hmm. I would say what a year. Or less, if, it depends on if you are if you waive your right to a speedy trial or. or I whatever feel like that's it's like happen. the nobodies, like the, just the everyday murders. That, those happen a little quicker than like the big high profile ones. Yeah, they dunk the donut and send you away. Yeah, let's just get this over it's, with. And move it's on. real quick. Is Laura going to do anything to stack the deck? Like, are you going to have a nervous twitch? Are you going to growl? I mean, is there anything you're going to do to get tossed out, or are you trying to get on this bad boy? No, like, initially, when I first got the letter, I, like, started coming up with excuses immediately, but then I found out it was a moida. So I was like, <laughs> actually, this could be kind of fun, so I'm just yeah. going to hang out and, and see I, you what know, happens. I love true crime. I know Laura likes true crime, so maybe this is right up her alley. It's just, like, for us, it's like, man, a whole... If you're gone for, like, a whole two weeks, that's going to be a pain in the ass for the show, but... It's still exciting. I know, so I fun. see, I see, like you're, you gotta like, you know, weigh the the pros and the cons. <clears throat> How does that work with uh, her job though? Like, does she have to take vacation days or? No. Uh, so, what they will do is give you basically nothing for doing for doing this, but they your do pay job, you a, a slight bit, a very slight bit. But if you have a, a salaried position, your your uh, your actual employer continues to pay you as their civic duty. Ah. So. Right. If you didn't have a job, they would pay you so little that you couldn't buy a block right. of cheese at the end of it. Mm-hmm. But they pay you something, like prison work wages. So, Laura, you said I want to say it's like twelve dollars a day or something. It's like that. obnoxious like, it's, like that. 
Just the bare minimum. Yeah, I mean, it's not even minimum wage. It's like, here's your go get a granola bar fund. (laughs) Right. Yes, to a granola bar. Um, so you said you're really going to try to get on the on the panel. You said you're really going to try to get on the jury. You see, I think you yeah, should go in there. Yeah, but I don't know. What, just all acting all twitchy. And I don't stuff. know what to do. Oh, okay. You want me to just like have some sort of pick? Well, you already thing. have a <laughs> demeanor cursing. about you. I thought that maybe they would remove you because you look crazed when you're not happy. Yeah, uh, see, I thought she's like the, oh, she's okay. like a gener- she's like a base like no offense like generic basic white girl. So I think perfect for the jury. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I think the internet I, calls them basic bitches. Because Tanner was telling me earlier, Laura, that he thinks you're going to get this. I think she, she just seems to me like she's like jury material. She is jury material. I just, I wish you would stack the deck. That's what I'm saying, but she seems she, like she wants to do her, she wants yes. to do her, server, her civic duty. She you wants to be I, like a good person. You know what I thought every six seconds when I was in there? God, I got to get out of here. That's <laughs> yeah, all I, mean, I could yeah. think of. I appreciate that. I just want to come back in here. Uh, but listen, yeah, but you didn't have, you didn't, but you didn't have a fun trial. Like, don't you guys, I mean, I'm not really going to be able to talk about it until it's over, but don't you guys want to hear all the the dirty details? I do. I do. I I want to know what trial it is. I want to know what murder case it is. I want to know, you know, how he did it, how he thought he was going to get away with it or she. (laughs) And I think that's great for all of us to be able to enjoy that part, but be careful what you wish for, Laura. Because they've still jaded know, from, from the grand jury stuff. Can you so. handle, like, let's say they show you some gruesome se- uh, pictures. Can you handle, like, crime scene photos? Oh, I mean, I'm just going to have to. You're absolutely. And you're going to be like, hey, can we see those again and again and again? Yeah. yeah really, again. Can you leave that? Can you actually leave those up? Do you have a bigger screen mm-hmm. that we can put those on? Yeah, they're going to yeah, put them on the okay. wall. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, we'll check in with you uh, later. When will you know? Uh, will you? Will, will, it, will we know by ten a.m. if she's been chosen or not? No, it's, mean, it is very it's, possible. It depends. Because I was but, out. Yeah. I was out by noon. So it, so prob- it took a long okay. time. And, All right. and you never know. I'm gonna text you a little uh, a little later on in like like two hours. I'm gonna text you and see where you're at in the process. Okay. Okay, sounds good. All right. Good or luck call when you're free. Yeah, call if they let you out. Just, just yeah, let us I'll, know. Yeah, I'll shoot you out, yeah. All right. Well, All right. Laura be chosen. We promise we won't make you come here, but call us if you get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she'll be chosen for the Moida trial. We'll find out later today. All right, happy Friday. It's Tanner Juin.
Online at 1059thebrew.com, there's a funny video of a dad trying to secure his family's trampoline Uh during a windstorm. That's that's an uphill battle. So you can see the neighbors in the background. It's already taken off. And it's rolling (laughs) through his backyard as he's trying to secure his trampoline. He's trying to, like... uh, Use stakes and like hammer it into the ground. Giving it everything he's got. And the wind just is too much for it. And and as he is sitting there under it, trying to secure it to the ground, it lifts up and kind of launches him into the sky with it for a oh. second. And that thing just goes flying. So see ya. Goodbye, family trampoline. I'm sure you can track it down uh, the street a little later on once the storm's over. Mm-hmm. But that video is online at 1059thebrew.com. Also, the first trailer for the Crow reboot. Ooh, I, I have mean, not a, seen this yet. I'm a little weary. Yeah. Just because I do love the original. And it has so much, you know, it has so much history in it. Yeah. It's going to be tough, but I'll, I, you know, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, the Crow, it looks like it's the dude. Who is it? Oh, my God. The trailer looks brutal, though. Uh, they oh, going hard. They damn. going all the way. It looks like it's pretty. It looks pretty hardcore. I just saw a dude. It needs to I be. just saw a dude standing over another dude with a shotgun and put it in his head. Ooh. And it was pretty graphic. Is this the Red Band trailer? Whatever it is. That this must seems be the aggressive. Red Band trailer. Oh, it's the dude. Oh, and it's you know who it is? It's the guy, uh, what's his name? Who plays it? Oh my uh, god. Skarsgard, what's his what's his what's his name? He's got a wild long name. Yeah. Uh but it's the dude who plays it. Hey Georgie. It's that guy. Oh my god, he's gonna, he's an incredible actor. Yeah, he really the whole family is. It pisses me off how talented the whole family is, but Bill Skarsgard. Okay, yeah, he's uh looks like it. He's in the uh, the Crow reboot trailers online here. Just give us actually like two minutes and it'll be online. 1059thebrew.com. Just click on Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Uh, all right, coming up next, we are going to play the four and get somebody qualified for a brand spanking new Lazy Boy. Yeah. Uh, if you want to play, we need callers one through four right now. 866-445-1059. That's 866-445-1059. We'll play in less than 10 minutes.
Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yes. Coming up later on this hour, comedian Ian Bag is going to be in studio. Funny, funny guy. He'll be at Helium Comedy Club all this weekend, but in studio with us here in about 30 minutes. But first, let's play this. It's time to get somebody qualified for a brand spanking new Lazy Boy. Yeah. Uh, it's easy. The game is easy. Uh, the game that Greg Fitzsimmons did not think was all that great. Can I just go back for a second and yes. talk about the game you guys played that literally <laughs> nobody understood what the hell was going on? Oh, did, was Didn't it, get the rules. Was it a mess? Okay. I I'll mean, have to go back and listen I to mean, it. I mean, the people were funny. Mm-hmm. But, but I, the hosts were not. Not us. Just, not us. Yeah. I, just did didn't get, I just didn't get the, uh, the rules. All and, right. and neither did he. Well, maybe I, we need to make it more clear. Hold uh, on. I said the I'll rules. Explain so it. how did you not get the rules? I blame Drew. Drew, I you, said, just, no. you just blew right through the rules. <laughs> yeah, you kind of blew through it pretty fast. Oh, well, you know, it does become like old hat a little bit. Uh, well, so yeah. maybe I should. I need to reinvest in yeah, the Yeah, we need to remember that we are getting new listeners all the time, yeah. and we need to reset. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding well, us how I terrible we are. I am a new listener. I- There's <laughs> Greg Fitzsimmons yeah. telling us how much he loved the game before. Yeah, and I, I think... Um, as an intellectual, he really got his head around it, counting to four and then counting down. But we can go slower, and we can we can make sure people yes. know. Please explain the rules to the game, the four draw. There, oh. there are four of you. You are individually located on different phone lines. You're going to take turns saying a number between one and four. If you call out a number and it's yours, hang up the phone. If it's somebody else's, you're still in the game. When one remains... You're qualified for a brand new Lazy Boy. Let's meet our contestants in no particular order this morning. Calling from Vancouver. His name is Nathan. What's going on, Nathan? How you doing? Good morning, crew. Doing good this morning. Let's meet our next contestant calling from Troutdale. His name is Paul. What up, Paul? Paul! Hey. Morning, guys. Nice, strong, biblical name, Paul. Get it, Paul. Uh, Calling from Silverton, (laughs) his name is Jonathan. What up, Jonathan? Hey, can you guys repeat the rules? Oh, for God's sakes. (laughs) Let's let's finally (laughs) uh, go to Austin and Gresham. Austin, what up, brother? hey yo. Hey. hey yo. Hey. All right, guys, you know how to play, right? Oh, yeah. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Let's get somebody qualified for the Lazy Boy. Let's go to Nathan in Vancouver first. Nathan, which line should we eliminate first? Line one, line two, line three, or four? Uh, Line one. Line one he's going with today. Nathan, you just eliminated Jonathan. Oh! Fake news. See you, buddy. Fake news. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that might be the best exit the ever. listeners are awesome today. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Paul and Troutdale. Paul, which line should we eliminate next? Let's go with line four. Line four he's going with. Paul, you just eliminated. True. Nathan. Nice. That's big. Right. Now we're in it. Let's go to Austin and Gresham. Austin. Oh, oh boy. Which line should let's, we eliminate uh, let's next? Go with two. Line two, he's go going. Two. Austin. My friend. <laughs> Amigo. Amigo Padre. You just eliminated yourself. Congratulations, Paul. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! You are a finalist for a brand spanking right. new Lazy Boy recliner. Thanks to our friends over at Lazy Boy. Ow. Outstanding. Thank you, gentlemen. All Huge. right. Yeah, you also, by the way, uh, for the people who didn't win or if you're playing in the car <laughs> with yourself, that's kind of weird, uh, <laughs> 1059thebrew.com, you can get signed up for another shot at a Lazy Boy recliner. That's right. And they are comfy. Hang on. We'll get your information. Comedian Ian Bag in studio.
Well, it's a he said, she said at this point between Dak Prescott and an alleged victim of a sexual assault who says that in an SUV seven years ago that Prescott forced himself onto her. The only problem is she never filed a a police report and his lawyers are saying she tried to get a hundred million dollars from him not to speak up. A hundred million is a big number. You know, like if you want cash and you want to, you know, have it go smoothly, you can't just make a hundred million dollars disappear. So even if in a hypothetical world you were going to get paid that, that person would still have to explain where all the money went. It doesn't make sense, but there is an investigation on both sides into the extortion and into the claims of what happened in that SUV. It will come out in the wash, but I'm guessing the Cowboys have done their due diligence on this long ago. Also, Pac-12 tournament, super fun to watch. If you're hanging out this evening, you want to get a piece of that. Uh, The Ducks did have a run-in with UCLA, though. Had to win to keep the tourney hopes alive. Uh, Up by two points when Claw did this. And they'll be taking on Arizona, who ended Bronny James' season and likely his college career. And all he can say is, welcome to the G League. Washington State and Colorado will play in the nightcap, though. So all evening long, you will see the battle. And then Saturday, the final for a spot in the big dance. There's your sports. Thank you very much. All right, this weekend, comedian Ian uh, Bag will be at Helium all weekend long. And he actually is going to be in studio with us next. He's uh, here. We'll talk to him right after Ozzy. Watch it live online at 1059thebrew.com. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura.
Yeah, 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 yeah. In studio with us right now, comedian Ian Bag. What up, dude? Hi, guys. Greg hey. Fitzsimmons told me there was a girl that would show their feet off at this show, and <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, that yeah, she's on jury duty. Yeah. Well, then, okay, boys, bring yours out. Yeah, yeah, my feet, my feet. You don't want to see. I do have nice feet for a dude. Like they don't, they're not scaly or gross or anything. But I still, I don't like my feet being seen. Oh, that's nice. I'm very self conscious about. You're my never feet. nude. You always have socks on. Dude, even at my house. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like when I see my reflection and I'm naked out of the shower, I'm so disappointed in life. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, what? This is what they bless me with? Come on now. (laughs) Why, God, why? Why would you do this to me? Yes, but Laura, uh, who did have a foot account on Instagram uh, before she was shut down for solicitation, uh, she she That's awesome, really? Is that true? Well, that's the title they gave it because you're not allowed to, um, you're not allowed to show your feet for profit. And she was like selling, you know, undergarments to people. Oh, yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I think they're like, oh, yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. We can't be in, you know, it's a secret. Right. (laughs) Yeah, it's I don't know why it's a secret, but we don't know that people wear underwear. Right. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I, I, I love social media, and I hate them at the same time. Like, Mm -hmm. I have a problem right now with um, trying to do something on my Facebook. And somehow I'm being paid from something else, and they're saying, "Oh, you don't live in America." And I'm like, "You already have my information. Yeah, you know where I li- you like you have it all, and you're right. saying I don't live here." Well, have you ever tried to get a hold of customer service with oh, Facebook? Nightmare. It, it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you what, like? So do you? Just, what do you like? Just connect to an email account, or what do you do? They don't even give you an email account. They like they put you through a, an AI thing, and you describe things, and they're like, "Come mm, on, let's describe that again." I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, no, I hate I need that. Help, Dude, it's so. a nightmare. I'm so sick of the, the the poor customer service, high prices on everything. Like, it yeah. makes me insane. When I call somewhere, do you ever end up yelling at the the AI, like the automated voice? No, I go lower. I go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll get mad. I'll just like, give me a human. And I'll scream that at the thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and Representative. I, I, rep, I, yeah, I'll Zantet say Tep. operator. Operator. Nice. Yeah. Over and over again. Or I'll just hit the zero because I, I I can't stand talking <laughs> to a robot. Oh, and then you talk to the person. You're like, give me the robot back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who One thing are you? I've noticed about your stand up and your clips go viral on, on you know, this on talk and reels and everything. Uh, your, your crowd work. Oh, me. We're talking about me. I thought we were still talking about other people. No, yo, no, we're on you now. We've moved uh, on. Yeah, yeah. Meeting uh, bag. Yeah, we're gonna see yeah. your feet next. Yeah, you're you're your <laughs> Let me tell you, they've told me to quit soliciting for sure. <laughs> 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 that's, 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 Come on, watch my videos, please. Just watch my videos. Your uh, crowd work is so good. I always wonder when I watch these comedians who are so great at crowd work. How much of your act is is written and how much is is improvised? Um, it's probably about sixty five, thirty five. Yeah, uh, sixty-five un- written, unwritten. Yeah, oh, yeah. unwritten. Oh, yeah, and then thirty-five I is love just that. It, the uh, thirty-five is just basically uh, road checks that I do to get through the show. Yeah, yeah, and then um, yeah, everything just spins off from there. I love the conversation with the crowd. It's so it's so impressive when I see these guys like you. Uh, I'm fantastic. Uh, you, you are fantastic. Like, <laughs> good Jimmy, night, Jimmy Pardo is really good at that. Jimmy uh, Pardo's great at that like crowd work stuff, yeah, yeah. I, and that to me like is. It's more fun to watch because that's when you know, like, this guy's good. Mm. Wasn't Pardo you can just stand in a room back in the day? Wasn't Pardo like there wasn't there a mall up here and he was the face of the mall? Oh, was I don't he? know. Casey uh, Beefwater, do you? He does kind of look like Scott Peterson. Maybe there's some confusion. <laughs> I don't, I don't recall you don't recall that? I don't. I, don't, I, I remember. Come I thought down I was to here. Pardo's. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it was. He's like, hey, you go to the mall. Remember, you can do this and you can do that. I'm Jimmy. I don't know if he'd say I'm Jimmy Pardo, but I remember. Maybe I don't remember. I, we used to be with the same agency and he was making a, a ton of money. And I thought it was flying to Portland and doing these commercials That's for awesome. them all. Yeah. Well, next time we so. have him in here, we'll have to ask him yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to see any of you guys when I'm at the mall. Yeah, yeah. honestly, they're dying. We got a place called the Lloyd Center here. Every time I go in there, it's so I walk out. Is that so the one depressed. with the ice rink? The ice yes. rink. Oh, yeah. We Look had two. Clackamas Town Center did have an ice rink. That might be it. That but, might be the one. Well, they both have. They both. Have, there are two ice rinks, but there's one remains. One, one remains. remains. Yeah, the Lloyd Center is probably. And and, and, and the, uh, the Winterhawks, they practice in there, right? I don't think so. No, that, that would be used awesome. To back in the day? Like down by Nordstrom. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be great? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are the Winterhawks, not the Black. I tell you, it would get more people in that mall. The only thing that's going on in the Lloyd Center is there's a magic store. Yes! There is the ice rink and like a mini arcade. And a natural wonder. And like, oh, <laughs> my God. And there's probably a, a made in Oregon store, possibly. I'm name not sure. those three things again and tell me molester heaven. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what's funny you say magic that? Magic ice. And it's a big magic store, too. Like, they have, like, uh, one side is a performance area, and the other side's like, a magic store. Oh, my God. And they then, perform in oh, it. I'm going to pull, pull a feather out of my hat here in a minute. Oh, my I've got goodness. a cool trick. I'm going to go down there and just try to get through life without being touched by a weirdo. <laughs> It does some have guy that with vibe. A long it does. Hat. There's definitely some loiterers there who have a red dot on their back. <laughs> but doesn't it seem like like something out of Bob's Burgers? <laughs> Yeah, it it does. Does. It, it, yeah, <laughs> and their ice rink and the uh, uh, magic shop are very close together. Oh. Do you know that they also used to be known for streakers? Uh, there would multiple times in, in in Lloyd Center. Those weren't streakers; those were kids getting away, <laughs> <laughs> running from the magic shop. Yeah. yeah, how long have you been in Portland? Uh, I, I I've been here for I don't know less than twenty four hours. Oh, uh, so you just yeah you just got here. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Where were you last before you landed? I was here? in I was uh, in at home in Long Beach, California. The week before that, I was in Lexington, Kentucky. Is that Kentucky? where? Is, are you from? Where are you from? Actually, I, I grew up in Northern British Columbia. Okay, because it's called Terrace, British Columbia. So, okay, so we used to get our uh, our American channels were Seattle and Portland. So I know I love the area. You know right? some stuff. Yeah. I was gonna say it's interesting. He's and, hitting tidbits. Yeah, in and area. also I I grew up in a big hot. Hockey community, so the Winterhawks were uh, a team that would come and scout in our town. So Ooh. one of the uh, first games I ever saw live. I, at first, it was the Texas Rangers because that's where I grew up in Dallas, and uh-huh. then uh, nice. I, then I went to Winterhawks game, and I I remember I jumped up and the because someone knocked the puck over the uh, over the, the like the that wall, the plexiglass, the plexiglass Glass. wall, and I had my it had my hand on it, but because it was icy, it slipped right through my fingers, and the guy behind me grabbed it, uh, took no it right from a kid's hands. I was like fourteen. No, Unreal. took that it from guy, a kid's hands. And that guy owned a magic shop. <laughs> <laughs> he was behind me the he whole time. He was the magic shop. He was just waiting for it. Uh, you lost the puck, but I'd like to give you this card to come down and see me. <laughs> That's the right. Winter Hawks, they used to fight, though. And, like, and, and I think it's banned I now at that their level. I, I love the it's fight. It's not but they banned, to, but it's nowhere like it used to be. They used to just get, it was like every three minutes, all right, throwing down. Yeah, yeah. that's that and used to be. It was a good the, time. The Western Hockey League was known for being the toughest hockey, just maniacs. Right. Me. And I grew up. Do you I, play? I, I do play, but I, I'm old now. I, 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 I Do you fight? When you play back in the day, I did, but now yeah. it's just old men fighting. It's just sad. Ow, and dude, you're my a shoulder. You're a giant man. I don't mean like a thick I'm guy. Five eight. You are taller than hell. I I. So you can't really tell when you're watching him on the internet, right? I how, love that. How tall are you really? I'm six three. You're six three. He yeah. came in. I was like, damn, he's tall. Six three two sixty. So I'm okay. So you, you could know? you can handle yourself in a in a fight. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, I used to. You know, when when, when I'm in, when I'm down to my my fighting weight, which is about two twenty. Things get a little dangerous with uh, <laughs> yeah. no, no. You know what's funny? I'm not a fighter. I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm not a fighter. I hate being punched in the face. But did you, I would can you, fight. Would you Happy Gilmore like pull their jersey up over their, their head and they just start wailing? Because that's yeah. some straight well, you, Happy uh, Gilmore. Back in the day, it was nothing about defense. Like, I love MMA and stuff like that. You see it, and there's a lot of defense involved. Not, mm-hmm. not when I fought. It's just you punched until somebody fell. And you Swing away. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, exactly. You grab onto the other guy's uh, the left side and just start pulling them into you and, push yeah. and punching them at the same. Pull and push away at the same time. Why do you think hockey isn't as big here? I mean, it's it is in pockets, right? But like in in, in hockey cities, yes, but not but, like you you Canadians. You guys, it's like it's like your day. football, you know. So our boss is Canadian, and like. Your boss is Canadian? Yeah. yeah. Does and his he lives- parents know he's down here? <laughs> right. yeah. He actually is in Miami, oh. which is the weird, a Canadian in Miami. He's gone to see his Taking French care of parents. a radio station in Portland. So yeah, it's a, we got the, the Bermuda hey, Triangle What's he soliciting radio. down there? Uh, he's got a magic show. Hold on. She's, yeah, <laughs> she's, but she's not here. Let's just start that rumor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where are they together? Exactly. Yeah, Laura and uh, Jean-Luc are down in uh, Miami. <laughs> Jean-Luc. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wish that was his name. You know what? It's, but his name is boring ass Ross. Yeah. Ross? Yeah. Ross. But John Luke sounds much better. A lot of Canadians named Ross. Uh, a lot of them. Yeah, a ton of Rosses. Uh, yeah, but but you guys would get along. He'll like post a story on Instagram that it's like unreal, and it's just a random score from a hockey game, like in yeah. the middle of a regular That's season. Funny. He'll be like, "This is the most magical thing to ever happen," and it's just like a clip from hockey that I was, <laughs> yeah. like I did does nothing for me. Six yeah. to three. About such a high score. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you guys yeah. are so supportive. He'll post like you know the Canadian cross country team will win gold. He's like United. As one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, South Park actually has the best Canadian thing ever. When when the uh, king and queen of uh, the king and queen of Canada get married, uh-huh. and they go, "A wonderful day, for, a wonderful day for Canada, therefore the world." <laughs> <laughs> I love him though. When we when I went into the therefore green room, the world. when I went to the green room to get him, you know, like in all these years, 
nobody like I walk in and he's wheels up posted on the couch laying out oh he like, in oh yeah on the yeah. couch and I was like I was wondering if I was in the right room hold like, on there was two people did you just let the other make the other guy stand and you just lay down a, on the couch he, he, he had, had a chair he had oh, a chair, chair. And, All right. and I was telling, he, him, he I was telling him my couch. problems so yeah it was like a therapy session yeah, right. it, was like, it did it seemed like we were walking in on I've something. slept on that couch many times he was telling me about how he ended up here in Portland yeah. uh, he is Ian and I am Ian, Ian and Ian. Ian and his the middle two name Ian's. is Scott. My middle name is Scott. So we bonded quite hard. Wow. He fell in love with a girl from Portland and moved here. I, back in my 20s, he's not in his 20s. We're, I'm older than him. But right. I'm and by the way, you were talking about Ian who uh, like drives the comedians from here. He's the manager. The he's not just the driver. He's yeah. the manager, manager of the club. Of the club right. and he's he's a multi And he's also downstairs, there's a one-armed stripper that he uh, DJs for. <laughs> <laughs> so um, She's fantastic. But he uh, fell in love with a girl and moved here. I was in love with a girl when I first started doing stand-up that was from here. And I used to spend a lot of time here. And, really? And, and she... Broke up with me and broke my heart. She broke his heart. We're very bonded. Is she still in town? You he think? Oh, uh, Kirsten Chambra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she might be. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, she. I, I well, love the, this, this is the way she broke up with me. She goes, uh, "If we, if you had a famous uh, hall pass, who would it be?" And I can't remember who I named. Yeah. Her. yeah. And, and she. <laughs> she named somebody and then said, and by the way, I've already slept with him. <laughs> oh! Well, what the wow. hell's that about? Yeah, Kirsten, you got me. You know, I hope she's listening right now and Kirsten. she's just eating her heart she's not, out. She's not, she's not listening. She's eating. I she's, hope, I'm, I'm she, hope she's uh, eating uh, a whole uh, pie. Uh, yeah, she's, 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 I hope she's on the toilet one day, scrolling through TikTok and sees one of your viral clips and just oh eats her heart out. No, I didn't, I Do you just, ever uh, think about that? Like, honestly, like now you're, you're making it and like, what all those people that wronged you? Like an ex-girlfriend who broke up with you and cheated on you or something. Don't you? No, don't... I, I hope she's doing well. I've got, I got a lovely wife. If she she hadn't broke up with me, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have this wonderful woman that I'm with. Okay. So I Fair was enough. like, good for you, Kirsten. We had a lot of fun. You, you you taught me about the the highs of the highs and the lows of the lows. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I hope she stubbed her toe a couple of times. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. is it like Gilbert Godfrey or like a Paul Walker? Like who did she cheat on you with? Not necessarily who, like what she caliber? Worked for, she worked for Nike uh -huh. uh, and it was some famous designer. Ooh. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I mean, uh, it was funny. she I, cheated I, up. It sounds like yeah, yeah she, she just happened. To, oh yeah, she cheated. Yeah, she, she, she did very well for herself. <laughs> she, she did. She did okay for. But good for her for breaking yeah. a young but Canadian comedian. But not with a beautiful heart. lady. You got You're married now. How long yeah, you been married? I've been married for twelve years. Look at that. Nice. And I'm with a, 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 an occupational therapist. Oh uh, wow. I could be a case study. Mm -hmm. I could be married. I'm not really sure, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, she's and she's from the south. She's fantastic. She did this the other day. This is so. This is just happened the other day, and it's just brilliant. She had to go get her picture taken for a license. She just like didn't do anything for two days with yeah. her hair. Yeah, and like looked like go just went all looked in. like a crazy woman. So she looks drunk in her in her photo, <laughs> right? So now if she gets That's pulled over, her. if she gets pulled over, they're not. Oh, she's just normal. She's fine. Yeah, yeah she's fine. Yeah, she's, she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Disheveled as we idea. like to see her. That's my girl. <laughs> Ian Bag, man, dude, I I adore you. You're so funny. Watch his clips if you haven't seen him. You on. guys should come out to a show. I'm coming. Can I get? Can you put me on? Yeah, Ian's so good. Ian at Helium always I puts got a, me on. I got a feeling you're lying to me. No, yes. do I not always come when I say I'm going to come? Oh, well, I don't know where this is going. Bing bong. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got me. Out of context, yeah, yeah. these two are I know, really close. A lot of, a lot of radio are guys, you soliciting right now? <laughs> but a lot of radio guys say they're going to come and they don't. Yeah, yeah. He, he does. Shows. He does. Show I up. go to the shows. I it, honestly, it's my therapy because I get depressed and I need to laugh, so I, I go to comedy. So it's on you tonight. Yeah, I I make him laugh. If my weekend sucks, it's your fault. He's going down to that one-legged stripper. Oh, is she one-legged or one-armed? Oh, well, either way. She's got an epic DJ. Yeah. One, one arm. I, want, I wanted one arm because it just, it just so, so she, There was rumors on, that we she's had she's on one. the pole, she's got the, only got the <laughs> one arm. Yeah. But so, was... every so often she goes the wrong way and just flies off the stage. <laughs> I'm sure that arm looks like Popeye, though. Yeah, yeah, just a big, massive yeah. arm. And there was like, rumor <laughs> that we had, like, an amputee stripper in Portland. I don't think she works anymore. Um... But uh, there was a rumor. I never saw her myself. Hard yeah. worker. She retired. She's taking money away from the people with two arms. Uh, all right. So you got, what, two shows tonight, two tomorrow? She's doubling up on her cash from the government <laughs> and the strip club. <laughs> Just taking the money away from everybody. How many shows do we have? I think it's two tonight, two tomorrow. Oh, you guys are just so mean. <laughs> like, I come here, I, I, I say I'll do shows, and then you double up on the shows? We could just do <laughs> is, one a night. Is it just two, is it happy. one or is it two, Ian? I got to go it's to the two. food trucks, hang out at there, yeah, and there. see. I got to find the, 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 the wheelchair strippers. <laughs> Portland.heliumcom. Wouldn't that be great? Just to, listen to this. If, if you're in a wheelchair and you need to make some money, here's the, you're, you're just wearing a moo-moo, uh -huh. right? right? And then your first song. 
wrong, you just flip that off. And then the second, you just jump out of the wheel. You just fall out of the wheelchair. <laughs> <You just fall. laughs> I'd pay right? for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people just throw the dollar bills at you. Oh. That's right. It works. It's tougher in Canada to strip because they got the coin, right? They got the coin. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah. Well, they don't throw it at you, but they place it right in your butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> And you got to hold them all. Whatever falls out, that goes to the government. Comedian Ian Bag. God, I love you. We'll be back.
It's 1059 The Brew, Portland's Rock Station, Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Uh, Beefwater's here. He's going to let us know what he's eating with Beefwater's Fast Food Frenzy coming up around 830 this morning. And we're going to check your talk back messages. So download that iHeartRadio app and send us one. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura. One zero five nine, the Brew. It's Portland's Rock Station. Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Dude, my face hurts from laughing so much after uh, comedian Ian Bag was here. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like him a what? lot. Yeah, we'll be at Helium all this weekend. Uh, hi, it's Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Good morning. Hey, good morning. I was just calling to say good morning. It's super cool you guys have Ian in the uh, studio today. Yeah, dude. He just walked out. He was so funny, man. He was man, I, off the air. He was making us laugh hard too. Like, uh, like he said, what did he say to you, Drew? Wait, just he was like. He said goodbye, and he was like, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. And I'm like, what? And he goes, I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> he's great, man. He's a really funny guy. And he's going to be at Helium all weekend, so portland.heliumcomedy.com if you want to uh, cop some tickets. Yeah, I'm going to see about that. I knew he was coming to town, and uh, it came faster than, uh, than I thought. But he's really funny. I've been a fan of him for a while. Yeah, and, dude. Uh, just so you guys know. Just so you guys know, I'm a real big fan of you guys. I enjoy listening to you guys on a regular basis. Thanks, Thanks so much, dude. man. We appreciate that. You be safe this weekend and get weird. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. All right, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to check more of your talkback messages. So download that iHeartRadio app if you have something to say to the show. Also, there's an asteroid that's headed. I guess it's going to pass Earth. It's not headed right for us. But Ooh. the size of the thing is going to uh, surprise you. Uh-oh. How big is this asteroid? We will tell you right after ACDC. Happy Friday. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura on The Brew.
What I like about the brew, you make me laugh and smile. You're my go-to FM station on my radio dial, yeah. Keep on listening with my ear. You play me all the songs that I want to hear, because it's true. That's what I like about the brew. That's what I like about the brew. That's what I like about the brew. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're hopefully going to find out before 10 a.m. this morning if Laura is going to be chosen for this murder trial that's going to start, I guess, in April. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she is not here today because she got her number pulled last night. She called in to check to see if she had to do jury duty, and sure enough, her number was called. So she went there this morning, and if she is chosen, she will be on a murder trial. The, the paper says uh, at least for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, that can go so many ways. I think it could get drawn out. It could get, you could get there the first day of actual jury and yeah. they make a plea deal before it starts. Or what if they, you know, the trial goes fairly quickly, but then, you know, uh, some jurors don't agree. Mm-hmm. And, and then so you're then, then, then in you're in the there, room. Yeah, you know, just for hours or days even. Battle. And that's what I always dreaded about the idea of it is say you're a juror and you're in the room and it makes total sense to you. Like, what, one way or the other, guilty or not guilty, it makes total sense. And some noob, when you get in the room and you need a unanimous decision, yeah. is just like, nah. Nah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I could just imagine pacing around a table, like, trying to speech and debate this dude. I, I'm, I'm sure it happens all the time. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, well, I'm hoping to know what she said. The paperwork will tell us likely by the end of today whether it's the show or today yeah so we'll have answers and the jur- and the the trial won't start monday right it, like it maybe it was april future. 8th it looked like mm-hmm. uh but we're hoping that i'm hoping she doesn't get picked just so she can be on the show but she kind of wants to do it you know i feel like she really wants to. She, do you know it's a murder trial it's interesting she's a true crime fan so we'll see what happens i'm going to check in with her I don't know, at like nine thirty, and see I feel what like the deal she, is. I feel like she has the illusion that it's like vacation. You know, like being in there's like vacation, but she's gonna realize real quick that it sucks. It feels straight like a lecture hall, you yeah. know, or when you're just like stuck in a classroom and you're looking up at that clock. All your tendencies from those days, like I'd get fidgety and I'm weird in a classroom after a while. All that stuff comes back, right? And you want out, right? Well, we'll we'll check it with her in a few minutes, and hopefully, uh, she doesn't get picked for our sake. Yeah, for so, the sake of the whole the metropolitan area. The show. Um, all right, so there's an asteroid the size, well, it's, you know, normally when we hear about asteroids, it'd be like, it's the size of the Empire State Building. An asteroid the size of Texas is coming downtown. Mm. You know, you know, <laughs> it's always some grand They always size. say something like that. Uh, this asteroid that is uh, supposed to pass by Earth today. It's as big as a Yeti cooler. Do you want to know how big it is? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can't leave me on the it's cliff. It's as big or- as 16 and a half John Cena's. 16 John Cena's? Yeah. 16 That's a pretty big stroid. And a half John Cena's. And his name is John Cena! Who looked obviously incredible. Oh, man. And imagine on if, he the drops Oscars. An, if that asteroid drops an elbow on the ozone layer. John Cena style. Yeah, apparently there's two asteroids, actually. One the size of 16 and a half John Cena's. Okay. And the other one is around the size of three and a half adult female American bisons. <laughs> <laughs> I like our new measurement. But they're set to pass very close to Earth today, according to NASA's asteroid tracker, dubbed 2020 FU. So we're not going <laughs> to. That's the name of it. And it's so because FU 2020 is so true. Oh, it was the worst year. It was. It's worth an asteroid. I'd be worried you name it and then it drills us. Oh, I know. But an, uh, uh, it's like, F you, F, you, F me, F you. A baker's dozen John Cena's, what does that do if it hits us? Is it burn up? It wipes out half the planet. You remember, what, you remember the, no. I well, know. I just didn't know it's, if it's John that Cena. Was, if I that, just figured if something like John Cena hits yes. the earth, we're screwed. He'll be the heavyweight champion of the universe. But uh, there's the one doll uh, dubbed 2020 FU and 2024 EK3 by the uh, Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at uh, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, The latter asteroid has a relatively close flyby to Earth, far closer than uh, most other asteroids tend to travel. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Well, it's sketchy. I feel like we're always dodging these things. One time, something's just going to come right down Main Street. Yeah, hit dude, us it, right in the teeth. That's what scares me. You know, like, uh, I mean, you got all these rocks out there flying by all the time, and we're just floating around out here, just chilling, waiting to get smacked. You know, I always thought like, okay, maybe it's a bad idea to blow the asteroid up because they're worried about like a whole bunch of little asteroids. Then, or I'll little, take you know? some bits over a shell shock. But what I think it would be good, like, you know, couldn't you like launch a nuke out there and then let set the nuke off next to it and then push it? You would because all you need to do push is push it, it. like but, a little bit. It only has to move a little bit. Well, then they'd be like, oh, well, then the it's way. just going to come around again eighty years later. Well, that let them deal with it. Yeah, exactly. All right, we figured ours out. We we pushed it out of the way for a little bit. Now you got to figure it out. Exactly. And 80, 80 years, years from now, hopefully they'll have technology to just blow it out of the sky or something. Yeah, because when I'm 120 years old, I'm not going to care what you guys do next <laughs> time. I want you to try the same thing. Give it a shot. But yes, an asteroid the size of 16 and a half, John Cena is going to fly by Earth today. Yeah! You can't see me! I don't know if you'll be able to see this today or not. It's a nice clear day. You probably will if you've got a telescope or something. Mm-hmm. I, I bet The Rock is butthurt, though. He's like, I'm The Rock, and you just measured in Cena's? <laughs> okay, fine. Who do you think could win, The Rock or John Cena? In a real fight? In a or real in fight. A... a real UFC cage match fight. Jeez, man, that is a really good question. I'm going with, I'm going with John Cena. He's, it feels like uh, I'm going to go with John Cena. I don't maybe, know. but maybe just the, because the, the Rock. Rock did play some professional sports, or you know, semi-pro, and then he was at the University of Miami football. But John Cena not only is incredibly strong, he's incredibly intelligent, and he is. I mean, you see what he does in those rings; that is athletic. So, who is it going to be? Who's going to win in a fight, a real fight, John Cena or the Rock? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Maybe Cena he, when he was naked at the Oscars. The guy's pretty, pretty meat city. I'm going to go with Cena. You can shoot us a text message at 98197 and let us know who you think would win in a real fight. I'm going to say John Cena. I think he would kick The Rock's ass. Hey, he's a little younger than The Rock, Hold right? Hold on. Before we go, we need to know their height. because if, John Cena looks like a giant. Because if it's anything like, if it's anything like uh, the Tom Cruise effect. How tall is John Cena? How tall is John Cena? 6'1". John one. Cena is 6 feet 1 inch tall. And How tall the, is The Rock? Dwayne Ooh. Johnson is six feet four inches tall. Oh, he's got three inch. Uh, I thought he was short. range on him. Ooh. And you know when they get know. in the cage, like they got a wingspan. He's gonna keep him at arm's length all day, <laughs> and just beat that nose up. Yeah, I, I sent us a text, and who do you think would win in a, a real fight between those two? Nine eight one nine seven. Beef Water is gonna share what he's eaten, which fast food joint he's eaten from the last couple of days. Hang on.
well, looky, looky, the Vikings after Sam Darnold showed up in town and Kirk Cousins hit the road for $180 million. The question is, what are they going to do? They don't have a quarterback. When they didn't have a quarterback last year, their season crumbled. It was about as strong as a piece of tissue paper in the ocean, and maybe they've got the fix. The Vikings have just made a trade with the Houston Texans grabbing a second first-round pick. The, the idea there is likely you take those two picks and you trade even farther up the board and you get one of these primetime quarterbacks who could change your team forever. And if you don't, you get a high-end guy and Bo Nix. Still pushing for that, hoping it happens. But as for now, teams are moving up the board looking for that great uh, that great hope that's going to bring a title to their town. Yesterday, more of the Pac-12 tournament as this these games are fun. Everything's an elimination game from now on in college basketball. So unless you're already going to make the field of 64, you are on it right now. You're bleeding from the gums and the Ducks had a 10-point lead with just... Four minutes left against UCLA yesterday, and they were letting it bleed. It was falling apart, up by just two, with seconds left when this happened to UCLA. I'm sorry. Now, those great looks are going to go in against Arizona if they do that again tonight, as Arizona is number six in the country. But if the Ducks can get it done and beat the winner of Colorado and Washington State, it won't be in anyone else's hands because they'll be in the field. But let's not forget, underdogs by 11 and a half tonight. Go Ducks. There's your sports. Thank you very much. All right. In the last segment, we asked a question. Who do you think would win in a real fight? between John Cena and The Rock. I'm talking about a real cage match. Dana White's off to the side. Joe Rogan's there type of a fight. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we got text messages on our Lazy Boy text line. This one's from 6384. It said, uh, send John Cena up there and take care of that asteroid. He'll do it himself. <laughs> An asteroid that's the size of 16 and a half John Cena's. I could see him drop the hammer. Uh, 2264 says, The Rock would disarm John Cena with that charming smile and then make the attack. Ooh, he does have the look. Uh, Beef Water, you're a big wrestling fan. Who do yeah. you think would run in a r real fight between those two guys? Today, if they fought today. If they fought today. Okay, I'm going with John Cena. I think The Rock's too big now. I too think, big, I too think, slow? I think he would gas out. He's got too much mass. Yeah. So I think John Cena could outlast him and then squeeze that choke out. That's, what I, about, I think John Cena would win too, yeah. Do you have a, an answer to the three-inch height advantage that The Rock has? I don't think that matters. John Cena would have to try and get him tired. You see what Run I mean? So, a little bit. Yeah. And then, uh, or yeah, I think if he could just grapple just, with him a little bit. Just dodge a couple of punches, he'll Absolutely. be pretty exhausted. Because in my mind, The Rock can't turn his neck. Like, so if you're <laughs> moving move his whole body. Say, the whole thing's got to be like, duck, 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 yeah. duck. He's almost bodybuilder status at this at this point. Like, his shoulders and arms are so big now that that's, all those big guys, they get it, it takes too oh, much oxygen okay. he must to have, operate. I, be, I bet you The Rock has trouble wiping. I bet um, he's got a stick. All right, coming up in a few minutes, we are going to find out what Beef Water is eating with Beef Water's fast food friends. He has tried a new fast food item for you, so you know you don't have to try it if it's terrible. And this one's big time. Yeah. yeah. Get it after Bush on the brew.
You can also shoot us a talkback message through the iHeartRadio app. Download it for your cell phone. It's free. Once you have the Bruce streaming, press the microphone button to record something. All right. All right, but those uh, it's not like a real fight though. And I, you know, I'm talking ear, we're talking about a real UFC fight. Yeah, earmuffs, but I think there was a little choreography involved. <laughs> yeah. How dare you. <laughs> but uh yes, yeah, so we were thinking like if Dana White was there, if old Joe Rogan was there to do the uh, post-game interview yeah, or like the post-fight interview. You're only getting out if you tap out, you get your arm broken, yeah. you pass out or you get beat into submission. Those are the only ways out of the cage. And between the Rock and John Cena, I'm going to go with John Cena. Not only do I like the guy more, I just think he would be the better fighter. Do we have a, because we did this height, it was shorter than The Rock, but what about their age? Do we know the age? Let's find out right now, because I would it's assume that The Rock is a little pretty older. Pretty close. I would think I'm The Rock is Rock's, slightly older. He's got to be 50. How old is The Rock? 50 something, man. Uh, the Rock is, how old did you say? Fi- I was going to say 51. He's 51. Boom. How old is John Cena? 46. Yes. He's 46. <laughs> Look at Drew. Look at I'm, I'm going to go find you a prize. Oh, my God. I, I never <laughs> win at the fair. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Uh, I, I, I'm going with Cena, man. I'm going with John Cena. Yeah, it's hard to go away from the younger man, too. And you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, Casey's got me wavering because of the lack of mobility from The Rock. But he still does action movies. I don't know how many of his own stunts. I probably, I doubt. probably not that yeah, many anymore. I, I bet he's, he's a, got a meat chuck who comes right along with How him. much it costs to insure him? There's no way. I bet you're him right. do his stuff. Uh, so there you go. Uh, you can shoot us a text, 98197. Uh, Let us know who you would think would win in a fight. Beefwater is here. He is uh, going to review another fast food item for us this morning. It is time for Beefwater's Fast Food Frenzy. Kentucky Fried Chicken and, and a Pizza, pizza Hut. Hut. This song makes my tummy growl. Yeah. And Pizza Hut, Donald's, McDonald's. McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. <laughs> People on the podcast are like, what the heck? Because they can't hear the yeah, song. They're just like, these guys are losing they their minds. They talk about McDonald's and Pizza Hut all the time. What a bunch of slobs. <laughs> <laughs> and they just mumble about it. Beef water, what item uh, did you eat in our reviewing this morning for uh, Fast Food Frenzy? We are going with a limited time item. From your favorite, Little Caesars. Ooh, the, a new item? Yeah, they got a new item. Uh, they roll out uh, oh, new stuff pretty regularly. They got two things going right now. They got uh, like the, the thing Shamrock I tried, pizza. which is the Crazy Puffs. Okay. And then they're doing a uh, half pizza, half uh, like cheese bread situation. Okay. So you mm. can get uh-huh. a jalapeno or a bacon version of, of When that. I was there the other day, I did see, uh, I was going to tell you about this item that I saw. It was like, they were like, Pizza cupcakes or something. Yeah, that's what I had. I had the uh, the crazy puffs. Is you're what kidding? They call it. Crazy puffs. That's it's, what you're reviewing today. That's what I'm reviewing. Hey. Uh, the Little Caesar crazy puffs. They you come in a four pack for three ninety nine. Crazy puffs. And so tell delicious. us what the crazy puffs are. They're like just little. Explain you what they kind of said it. I mean, it's uh, like, look, like they look it, like cupcakes, but they're pizza. It's a hybrid. Uh, it would be like if the Totino's pizza roll was good. It would be this thing. So it, okay. when, when the picture of it kind of looks like if you took a pizza and then you took a cookie cutter and just started cutting circles out of it. Yeah, it's almost like a miniature uh, Chicago deep dish pizza, right? Okay. But it's got the it's the consistency of the cheese bread. Mm. It tastes like the cheese bread. Mm. It's filled with pepperoni and cheese mm. and sauce. And, and sauce. And, sauce. Then, and then you get that garlic butter on the top. Garlic butter. It's solid, dude. <laughs> for if you're just looking for a quick snack, or just a, I mean, yeah, if you want pizza, get the pizza. But if you're just looking for a quick snack, or maybe you're getting wings and you just need a little something to go with with the wings, yeah, dude. The, I do uh, see. Uh, there there are times where I'm in Pizza Hut, or sorry, Little Caesars, getting something. And someone will come in and just order like a thing of crazy bread and leave. Yeah. I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. Right, you're not you just going to sit in your car and eat crazy bread? It's like, did you see the deal on pizza? It's yeah. like $7. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, so cheap. It, it's getting higher and higher there. I feel like every time it's a dollar more when I go back. But yeah. the boy loves it, so I got to go and get him his pizza. No, you have a huge appetite. You'll eat like a Big Mac and 10 nuggets yep. and fries. Dude, and it blows soda. me away. He'll eat two double cheeseburgers. From McDonald's, yeah, and I can barely finish one of those. And it's and that's a, like a big issue with you. That is a side note, but <laughs> what what you will that fill you up a four pack of oh, little? No, goblets? I I tried this, and that's where I was going to go. Where it's I don't know if I would call it a meal. I th- it's more of a snack uh, accompaniment to another item, right? right. So uh, it, it was good. I I had them, and I think if you if you ate all four, you would probably be fine. 
but I'm a hog, so you know I I, I need a little something extra. Plus, I like the variety. You know mm. what I mean? I like to dice it. How up. much were these little pizza? Four bucks, yeah. three ninety nine for four for a four pack. That's not so bad. A bone, a bone, a, a bone, a puck. Yeah, I and that's it a, like, a sounds deal. like a good lunch. Pizza pucks is when they should have called. Yeah, them. I mean it's like a little. Uh, it's and they're like called what again? Pizza. The, the crazy puff daddies. Crazy puffs. Oh. Crazy. They, <laughs> Puff Crazy puffs, and uh, man, I, I it was surprisingly delicious. Very simple, like it is what it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little miniature pizza. I like Little Caesars, man. I think it's pretty good for the price. But yeah. the uh, the consistency of the crust, which is like I said, it's like a stuffed crazy bread bite. Mm. And, you, so you Tanner, can't, you can't love you love Little Caesars. Would you de- deviate for these, or are you going to stick to the? I'll, I'll try them. Yeah, I'll try them. Throw in. I guess for four bucks, you could just. Throw them in, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. With, with another order. That's what I'm saying, like it's it's worth a try. Absolutely, I, I'm going eight and a half burgers on the burger meter. Beef burgers, little Out of little 10. Caesars. You know they're they came on, they came good with this one. All right, I think. It's How many beef call. burgers? Uh, eight and a half. Right. That's pretty. Big. Why don't you say just beef burger? Say beef burger. Eight, <laughs> eight and a half beef burgers on the burger meter. It feels burger. like he, uh, you feel weird saying beef burger. No, it All just right. seems redundant. <laughs> I know, but like you're no, you beef. You are beef. I, beef. I agree with I don't, you. I don't, it's redundant, I'm, but you are beef. But you are beef. That's why I don't horse around with no turkey burger. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we're gonna rebrand you to, to, to turkey beef. Yeah, when you when, when you review the bison burger, we'll let you just call them burger. All right. But well, there you go. Fair Fair I actually saw that the other day. I was gonna tell you about it. I'm glad you tried it. I think I'll try it this weekend. The crazy puffs over at Little yeah, C's. Go get them. Uh, it's Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Yeah, going. I think the Rock would win. No, oh, yeah. you think it's the Rock? You're smelling what he's cooking. Why do you say that? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, I don't think it's the age at all. I think experience too. I, you know, you're in there. John Cena would be quicker. You have that correct. But the power and strength. I just think uh, once he got a hold of Cena, that'd be it. Yeah, he I could see. Choke him out. Like you're saying, uh, you know, if Cena could move around him and be all fast and not let him catch him, maybe he's got a chance. But as soon as The Rock gets the hole of Cena, mm-hmm. he's going to rip him apart like a little doll. Yeah, he's overlooking the fact, though, that uh, John Cena is a cyborg. So he can outlast him no matter what uh-huh. because he's not a human. Right. He's, yeah, he's, you're in, you've gone into wrestling world again, yeah. Case. He, he is a when, powerhouse when, of a man. Gotta, when The Rock has your you neck. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, but uh, you had to understand that, he, that uh, not the uh, the Rock is sitting on the couch, you know, waiting for movies to come. That guy's in shape, working out every day. It's not like he's just lounging around, waiting for movies roles to come through. He's constantly mm-hmm. working out. I've seen him on his workouts. He's a monster. Well, he's we saw, we board. all he's saw, we all saw uh, uh, John Cena naked on the Oscar Sunday night. I'm pretty sure that dude works out every day too. Well, yeah, they that guy to say is they're yo- both no, absolute. Meat hooks, you know, it would kill any of us in a second. But how that's many people why it's a would die question. if they bro- if a fight broke out between those two in a bar? Oh my god! How many people are dead the afterwards? Collateral damage would <laughs> yeah, be monumental. Just broken everything. <laughs> all right, dude. Thanks for the call. Actually, you know what? Uh, we're gonna hook you up with a free pizza since it's free pizza Friday. You just got one from Papa Murphy's. All right, P Murphs. All right, all right. Thank all right. you. Hang on.
Uh, uh, it's 105.9 The Brew, Tanner, Drew, and Laura. I am so freaking stoked for the weather this weekend. The best in a long time. Dude. Uh, so let me check the latest. Hold on. Uh, today's going to be great. Tomorrow and Sunday are going to be even better. Mm-hmm. And even when you have to return to work next week, it'll still be nice. So, yeah. You know, sometimes it's nice to come back to rain, but we've been deprived. We all need a little bit of vitamin D. So my phone went down a little bit. It says 67 and sunny. It did say 71 earlier. but For it, today? Yeah. Well, but, yeah, I think. Uh, and then we are still going to hit the 70s. We will. Tomorrow, Tomorrow it'll be 71, Sunday it'll be 71, Monday 73 degrees, and then it'll start cooling off and getting rainy again. And yesterday kind of overachieved, too. And um, yeah. part of it is you forget about that greenhouse effect. I'm in my car in a Patagonia jacket, yeah. and within, like, three minutes of driving, I was about to hit the life alert So button. hot. Oh, my God, yeah. just, like, peeling it off with a seatbelt on. It was nice. I was just driving around with the windows down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know, it was, it's, Definitely I love that. It became T-shirt weather. I like start that. feeling good. I start feeling happy and excited. And then we yeah. get the call that Laura is on jury duty and uh, it's a murder trial. Mm-hmm. Moida was She's the case. She's going to be in it. I, oh, she just sent me a text message. Oh, what do you got? Because you were asking what the status is. Yeah, I just wrote, wrote her about five minutes ago and I said, hey, what's what's the word? Because we're wondering, is she going to be... Uh, is she going to be here next week? Is she going to be you know, she sequestered? Be whenever, whenever for the this entirety of the, the time. I said, how's it looking? And she said, boring. And she says, and then someone had a medical emergency, so they had to stop everything until it was taken care of. So that pushed everything back. So she still doesn't Can you know. Drag that person into the hall. We have work to do. <laughs> I, know. I mean, they're not. There's. You're in a pretty good place. You got a bunch of medical there. Yeah. Right. Like, sorry about. Uh, you know. Your panic attack, whatever's going on with exactly. you, but we got a murder trial to get to. Because everyone's just sitting in there like a zombie watching Discovery Channel, uh-huh. and it's like somebody just collapses so out of pure boredom. We might know uh, if Laura's going to be here next week in a little bit. We might not. Uh, either way, we will keep you posted on our Instagram mm-hmm. this weekend if we don't find out before the end of the show today. So follow us if you're not already at 1059 The Brew or at Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Yeah. We're on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the socials. Uh, coming up in a few minutes, we're going to check more of your talk back messages. So download that app, press the microphone button to record something. We've got some text messages we have to read and much more. Happy Friday. It's Portland's Rock Station, 105.9 The Brew, Tanner, Drew, and Laura.
105.9 The Brew, Portland's Rock Station. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura. Coming up in a few minutes, uh, we are going to tell you about the dude who changed his name to D's Nuts. D's Nuts? We just read a story about him the other day. Yeah. Uh, well, there's there's a whole story about this guy on how he became D's Nuts Kroll. That's his <laughs> real name, D's Nuts Kroll. That's amazing. Full story is coming up in less than 10 minutes on The Brew.
105.9 The Brew, Portland's Rock Stations, Tanner, Drew, and Laura. So the other day we did another uh, edition of Dumbass of the Day, and we talked about this guy named D's Nuts. D's Nuts? That's his real name. He legally had it changed to D's Nuts. He felt D's it was Nuts. <laughs> He felt it was time, you know? Yeah, and we were like, well, how does this happen? Like, for one, I'm surprised they allowed him to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, because usually they're like, oh, you can't put that on a, like, a license plate. or You can't, you have, your name, funny? You can't have your name be Satan or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. But a man named uh, D's Nuts Kroll made headlines recently due to his bizarre name and, of course, the crime that he committed. I can't remember his crime, but it was man. something dumb. D's Nuts. It's probably too hard to trade uh, change the, nuts. <laughs> the last name. Because, uh-huh. uh, I mean, Mr. D's Nuts is a little nicer than just being called that by your friends. <laughs> table for for table for nuts? <laughs> D's Nuts for two? But his last name is, is, he still kept his real last name, which is Kroll. Yeah. So He doesn't want to yeah. disrespect the family. But apparently the Wisconsin man legally changed his name twice. Kroll was named Derek Lee Kroll when he uh, turned 30 in the year 2011. Okay. And it was then he decided to change his name. He first changed his name to D's Nuts uh, Lee Kroll. Oh, okay. And then he that didn't roll off the tongue? Yeah, with just one E in his name instead of, instead of the two. Uh, the reason Kroll started on the form, he says, I without a doubt hate my name. In September of 2017, uh, Kroll uh, changed his legal name again, this time adding in Adding the second E to his first name. I, okay. it, why? Well, you don't want to. It, someone was probably calling him Des Nuts, and he's like, no, it's D's Nuts. <laughs> Got it. it I, that makes more sense. Yeah, he doesn't want, he's sick of people mispronouncing his joke. I'm sorry, Des Nuts? I'm sorry. It's D's. Come on. I've been through a lot. D's Nuts. <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, by the way, he is currently currently facing a misdemeanor charge related to a confrontation that took place on March 5th. So he's got a, in a fight with him, somebody. Someone called him Dez. Yeah, he got upset. He's not having it. I'm sorry, what was that? These nuts. That's right. These nuts. Never so, forget it. Uh, he sounds like a fun guy, yeah. honestly. He sounds like a, like a guy I'd want to have a beer with. He's he, Yeah, he does seem... He's willing for, to do just about anything would be my guess. Yeah. These nuts. All right, comedian uh, Ian Bag. He is super funny. He's going to be at Helium Comedy Club this weekend. Going to have him on the show coming up after Autograph. Happy Friday. It's Tanner, Drew, and Laura on 105.9 The Brew.